Hi, I'm Kobe Taylor with Fusion Pharmacy, and I just wanted to talk with you about amino acids and kind of the importance that they play in our daily life. I think a lot of people don't realize um, what a critical nutrient this is, and I think it's overlooked a lot of times in our healthcare systems and just in an overall health, mental health, and that's what we're going to focus on today. Um, I've spent the last two years doing consults and talking and seeing a lot of clinical things that have helped people with their mental states, uh, depression and anxiety and sleep, um, those are the big three, but there's lots of people that have deficiencies that don't realize the, why their medicine's not working um, and what, what, they're, what they could really benefit from having uh, an amino acid in their life. Um, <clears throat> so today, as we go through these things, we're gonna talk about amino acids. We're trying to understand a little bit about their role in our body, um, kind of what they do, and we'll talk about seven specifically that are related to mental health. Um, we'll talk a little bit about some of the other amino acids, essential, non-essential, and just the role of a diet and nutrition and how that plays a role into our ability to make our neurotransmitters and our overall mental health. Some of the building blocks, uh, amino acids are the building blocks for every cellular function in our body. Um, so the main one that we're gonna focus on today is neurotransmitters. Um, those serotonin, dopamine, and several others, but the, and how their role in our bodies, muscles, connective tissue, organ, skin, and hair and nails, all use amino acids. If you go onto Google and Google amino acids, most of the websites will come up with um, how to build muscle. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, fitness websites that will talk about amino acids in that way. But what we're looking at is really more the role of and our ability for us to have mental clarity and to be able to function well in a day and not have anxiety. So uh, we'll focus on those neurotransmitters as we go through. I want to talk about so how we experience everyday life. There's a lot of pain points and there's a lot of people that walk around every day with lots of debilitating symptoms and they don't realize that that's an amino acid deficiency or a nutrient deficiency that's causing those things. And oftentimes too, we throw medication at it and it doesn't work. And those medicines can't work if we're missing those nutrients. And some of those things, anxiety, pain, depression, worry, um, OCD, perfection, panic attacks, migraines, uh, lack of emotion, lack of empathy, being overwhelmed, feeling tense, um, lack of drive, lack of concentration. Um, I sometimes see constipation, uh, cravings, ADD, ADHD. So any of those symptoms are, or conditions are really should be a trigger to say, hey, I'm deficient in something. I'm missing something. And hopefully with this presentation, I kind of help you to understand what you're missing a little bit and kind of point you in a direction to kind of find out some answers and specifically what you're missing so that you can have optimal health. So um, lot, there's lots of things that we do to throw at um, this deficiency. And we have ADD, ADHD medications that we take and they come at a cost and have side effects and a lot of people don't like using those. Uh, people will use THC and opiates and anxiety meds, antidepressants and other over-the-counter meds to try to help alleviate our anxiety and alleviate our sleep and do some of these things and some of those things work and some of them don't. Um, oftentimes the very things that we use medication-wise cause nutrient deficiencies and so medicine in order for your body to clear a medication from its body, it often takes a nutrient to do that. And it uses that nutrient in the liver and kidneys to push this foreign chemical out of your body. But that leaves you with less of that nutrient to actually make the end product, the neurotransmitters and the other things that your body needs to repair. Our bodies are amazing chemical machines. And if it has the parts, you get the right parts in, your body will repair. All disease is a nutrient deficiency in some way and you can always take a disease state and google it backwards or where you can say i have hypertension what nutrient deficiencies are associated with that and you can the list of them will pop up of things that are commonly associated nutrient deficiencies commonly associated with those diseases and then look at your diet to see am i getting that or is it something that i have to supplement i need to take more than what i could possibly eat in my diet and that's kind of how I help guide people through that to kind of get to the answer of what you're missing. So amino acid, nutrient deficiency, there's a study by the uh, government that does 
they do a food survey and they do they look retrospectively back at 70,000 people, they look at what they eat, and then they analyze to see if they're hitting their recommended dietary allowance. And what the study kind of came, you know, one of the main points was is that 98.6 of Americans uh, didn't have the nutrients that they need to, they weren't eating enough of their nutrients. So it's very likely that you are deficient in something. And so that's kind of the point of all of this is trying to help us better look at things and understand why I'm deficient and what am I missing. Um, amino acids and kind of mental health, they do help with mental clarity. Um, our neurotransmitters are kind of key to this and helping calm. And when our neurotransmitters aren't where they need to be, we do have anxiety and we do present with um, stress and being overwhelmed and our bodies are telling us, hey, something's missing. That's Those are the warning signs that something's not right. Uh, they do also help with building muscle and bones and joints and all these other connective tissues. Um, some of the other parts that play a role in nutrition is our gut health. How well do we absorb nutrients? Are we getting what we need out of our digestive tract? Um, you can support that with different treatments to help improve that as well. Um, and amino acids are also really involved in every cellular function. So they're involved, they're in every single cell. They are what our body is made of. And there's 20 essential amino acids. Um, and they do have all aspects of things of helping regulate inflammation and pain and helping with circulation and moving our oxygen and all those parts. So there's really three different types of amino acids. There are those that we have to eat, essential amino acids, meaning if you do not eat those in your diet, you don't have the part, and your body cannot make the end product and cannot make those amino acids from anything else. They're just not there, and that causes you to present with symptoms when you're deficient in those things. Um, Non-essential is we can make it from the other amino acids. So if we have the, uh, nine essential, the nine essential amino acids that we need to eat, we can make the other ones from those. Conditional is that sometimes the demand that our body needs and how much we need to make, we just physically can't convert enough of the, if we're missing something, and sometimes it becomes that we have to eat those as well, the supplement, to get the body to function correctly and have what it needs. This kind of shows us a list of the different types of categories. So you can see the essential amino acids, the non-essential amino acids, and some of the conditional amino acids, and you can see um, kind of how they fall they are in our foods, um, but you can supplement them. Um, a lot of times, even supplements like protein powders and things like that, if your body doesn't break those down, then you don't get the part that you need. Um, sometimes we just don't flat out are eating enough. And a lot of times, even some of the protein powders actually don't have um, some of the essential amino acids in them. They're not complete. And so really looking at, you know, what am I taking in and am I getting what I need? This is the fabulous seven. So this is kind of the seven amino acids that are really focused in on mental health. Uh, tryptophan is the is, is essential amino acid. Is you have to eat that to, in order for you to make serotonin. Serotonin regulates. It's a happy amino acid. It helps us regulate lots of things. It helps gut motility. Uh, it helps with mood. It helps with our feeling of well being. It helps with um, um, some of the symptoms you see when you're deficient in that is feeling overwhelmed, anxiety, OCD, um, constipation, things aren't moving. Um, and, and if those symptoms are there, that is saying, hey, I, there's not enough serotonin there. Um, sometimes we'll have cravings. The reason we have cravings for things is because we're missing something. And your body makes a connection to a, to a nutrient or a hit. And sometimes we make connections with things that aren't good for us, like um, smoking or uh, marijuana or um, <clears throat> other medications that drugs and things that do have an effect but and cause a release of a neurotransmitter but it tricks our body into thinking we're getting something that's not really there and often those things cause depletions where you have to actually eat more than what you would if you weren't on those medications tyrosine is converted to dopamine uh, L-phenylalanine is can be converted to tyrosine which is then converted to dopamine um, that helps, dopamine really helps us uh, with focus and helps us with um, our ability to think clearly and 
not have mental fog. Uh, dopamine helps us connect with humans and kind of be there. And there's lots of things in our society that are depleting that in our kids. Screens is a huge thing that depletes dopamine. Um, and kids just aren't eating a lot of times the foods they need to get that nutrient. And so they're very susceptible to ADD and ADHD because they're missing those nutrients. Uh, gamma aminobutyric acid is calming. So it just helps calm. Um, it balances out glutamate. Glutamate is an amino acid that we get a lot of. It's in a lot of foods. Um, it's excitatory. Uh, lots of drinks and sugar substitutes and sugar things activate glutamate and stimulate that causes a lot of excitement and a lot of us are just out of balance we don't have enough balance and this this amino acid helps bring back and inhibit those things it helps calm uh, works very fast at helping decrease anxiety theanine is another one that helps that works on the GABA system um, and helps calm um, and helps with some inhib inhibition and promotion of glutamate the other way, uh, D-phenylalanine has been shown to help increase endorphins. Endorphins help us with pain. So our ability to manage pain, uh, work with pain, there's a lot of uh, amino acids that are, our endorphins are hit by opioids is a big thing. So oxycodone, hydrocodone, those medicines activate and work on the endorphin system. And we can support that with amino acids as well. Glutamine is, helps with uh, inflammation, it helps with uh, regulating blood sugar, helps us just overall um, regulate kind of our insulin a little bit. It, so it, and it also rebuilds the lining of the digestive tract. So, um, and a lot of times people will have anxiety or low blood sugars and things like that when they're deficient in glutamine. I want to talk a little bit about a case. So I have a 67 year old woman that has uh, debilitating anxiety. She's had uh, anxiety for years and years. Uh, it got so bad that she's almost reclusive. She doesn't even come out. She uh, has a hard time going to church, has a hard time going to any social settings, even going to the sort of grocery shop. Uh, she doesn't like to be around people. Um, lots and lots of triggers, um, really difficult. Um, having a lot of symptoms with um, even muscle tingling and involuntary movements and things like that happening. Um, and she's severely deficient. A lot of it's diet related. She doesn't have, does not have a very, didn't have a very good diet. Um, and she, we, we did kind of work up on her and got her on some amino acids, um, the ones that she was deficient in, got her to eat a little bit better, getting some nutrition in, um, and we're able to help her completely eliminate uh, most of her anxiety on a daily basis. Um, She's able to eliminate several of her medications. She was on Xanax, um, she was on Ambien uh, to help her sleep, uh, Xanax to help her, or Parazolam to help her with her anxiety. Uh, she's on a uh, couple of antidepressants, Wilbutrin, and uh, both, I think, taking Lexapro too. Um, all with very little effect and still having all the anxiety that she was having. So we were able to help her get off those medicines and get onto a path of better health and get rid of her anxiety. Uh, we have an eight-year-old that had ADHD, so very hyperactive, uh, had a really hard time studying in school. Um, he, yeah, lots of outbursts, lots of tantrums, lots of uh, struggles for parents. Um, very hard to get him to focus and do, and he was severely deficient in serotonin and both dopamine. Um, once we start giving the amino acids to help support those things, uh, we saw this kid shift and change. Um, he was able to focus a lot better um, and do a lot better in school and get his homework done and isn't causing as many problems at the home either, and which causes a lot of stress and anxiety for everybody in the entire house. So a lot, huge improvement in his disease state and kind of, and a lot of it, yeah, is nutrition. Uh, the diet has a huge role. So in order for us to convert tryptophan to serotonin, we need 12 cofactors, meaning there's 12 things we have to eat. Iron, magnesium um, are all involved in the conversion of tryptophan to serotonin. And if you're missing one of those things because you're either not eating it or you're not pulling it out of your diet, then we have to look at how to get those things into your body in order to help you make tryptophan into serotonin. Um, some people have genetic conditions like MTHFR uh, they, where they don't methylate, they don't activate their vitamins. So even if you're eating them, 
when they are getting in, they're not in the active form and your body still isn't able to convert and do things that it needs to do. So we see um, tyrosine to dopamine has seven cofactors that are needed. Um, so these systems require other nutrients and other things, vital nutrients that need, and just looking at those systems and your ability to actually make the end product. If, if you can get the neurotransmitter there, again, you lose, your anxiety goes away. The, these, all of these symptoms, these pain points go away. Um, and oftentimes your cravings go away as well. So even in addiction, a lot of these amino acids are used in high doses with somebody who has an addiction problem, nicotine or any of those addictive substances. If you support the system and you get those neurotransmitters back, cravings go away, withdrawals go away. Uh, a lot of the symptoms that you see from trying to stop drugs or a lot of the problems that the drugs cause, the amino acids can help combat that in high doses. Um, so amino acid therapy may help with all of these different things that we've talked about, addiction, pain, anxiety, sleep, depression, uh, control issues, panic attacks, ADD, migraines, emotional pain, sugar issues, gut issues. So we see a wide variety of diseases and mental health and even outside of that where amino acids play a critical role. And if they're not there, you can throw drugs at it all day long and you cannot make like an antidepressant that's a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, you can't reuptake serotonin if you don't have any serotonin. And I see people all the time who are on all this huge drug load and they're not having really any effect. Years of lifetimes are having just lots of side effects from the medicines. And they don't, they're not getting, they're not getting the results they want and they're still having all of these symptoms and conditions. And it's really should be pointing us to, hey, there's something missing. We don't have the parts. If you don't have the nutrients you need, you can't make those end products, and you're having all those, all of the, all of these different conditions that are completely treatable with some nutrients. So I want to talk a little bit about the next process. So we have a questionnaire that we're going to give you, um, and you, this is the kind of a copy of it. What we use it to do is walk you through. Um, Symptoms. So based off of different symptoms and diseases that you present with, and even sometimes the cravings you have and the medicines that you're using are all indications of things that you're missing. So we work through this questionnaire. We have you answer between zero to 10. Zero meaning you don't have that symptom or condition at all, and 10 meaning it's off the chart and it's disrupting your life significantly. And from that, we can then kind of tease out um, some of the things that might be missing. Um, I've done, I don't even know, a thousand consults or more over the last couple of years, and I see a vast majority of people um, with significant improvement in identifying what they're missing and kind of getting some of those things in their body and kind of replacing what it's not, um, what's not there. So we review those things. We review your lifestyle and some of your diet and exercise and kind of looking at some of those things and how it goes, looking at your med review, so going through your medications, identifying you know what's working, what's not working, why is it not working, or what is working, and keeping on those that make sense. Um, and just looking at your overall chronic illnesses and things like that. And every single person's different and every single uh, consult's a little bit different because nobody eats the same thing and our genetic makeup is different and everybody's a little different. So um, lots of different pathways to kind of get to that end result. We have Fusion do a lot of lab testing as well and can do that if we need to as well. It's also important, so a lot of these amino acids you can buy um, in an individual source, and sometimes that's kind of what the body needs to just get it in that raw form to get it in and get it working. Um, and so and we, we test and vet all of our sources. Um, nutraceuticals aren't regulated by the FDA, and so a lot of those companies don't do testing. And so to ensure that you get what you think you're taking, it's important that you do. It's, you know, there's studies that show 70% of the products out there don't have what they say they have. Um, and there's several third party you know, universities and things that will do these studies and go in and pull nutraceuticals out and you find that there's a lot of counterfeiters and there's a lot of people that are not putting in stuff correctly. Um, so it's really important that you buy from somebody that you trust and know, that you buy products that um, really have what they say. Because that's, it's a huge frustration as a, 
healthcare provider to recommend that somebody take something and then have them go buy it somewhere and not have any effect and think, oh, it didn't work for me. But in reality, it was they got a product that didn't have anything in it and it was just a waste of money. It was just a sugar pill. And that sets you on a path of uh, years of thinking, going down all these other pathways and trying to identify all these things that are wrong. But in reality, the very first thing that you tried was the right thing. You just got a bad product. And that's really frustrating from a consumer and it's really frustrating to actually do. So, you know, we spend a lot of time looking about where we buy things from, making sure that there's testing and that they really do have what they say they have. Um, and we, we're happy to help with lots of different things, right? We're a full pharmacy. We do all kinds of um, processes and different things like that. So we work with you to identify um, your, your needs and customize a plan specifically to you. Um, I want to ask you too, if you know, if you know providers that um, might benefit from this or want to know more about this, I, I love to go in and talk with people. Um, if you have friends and family that are, don't, you have these symptoms or you think, hey, you know, my neighbor needs this or my relative needs this. I want to talk to them too. Share the link, share this information with them, get the information out so that we can help make a difference in mental health and have everybody feel better. That's the goal. I'm Kobe at Fusion Pharmacy. Call us today.